This honor is like a scar on a tree which time instead of effacing only helps to enlarge. Why thank you game! Hello there guys, what is up? How's everything going? On today's schedule we have a battle replay on the right side as the Mori, we have Heli and on the left side as the Iko Iki we have one stupid boy. Both very valued members of our Discord server you can Hop on in, link in the description below. And this is on the Lowlands map, a very interesting map. And this is going to be a very interesting match. It's going to be short, it's going to be snappy, but a lot a lot of interesting stuff happens. And uh, I think you should you should probably pay attention to the minimap. It, it gets kind of interesting. <laughs> but he has a bunch of Wako Raiders. Heli has a bunch of Wako Raiders that are hidden, or were just hidden until now. But they're going to be supported by Naginata Warrior Monks before any Eco Cavalry can strike at the Wako Raiders. Matchlock Ashigaru running into position. We have, we have crossings on both sides. Getting ready to fire. Ah, that is sweet. And that is ranked fire, I believe. Yep, it is ranked fire. Always interesting to see that. So while the Eco are crossing over on this front, the Mori have crossed on this side. And we have cavalry. We have a cavalry fight breaking out. Eco Iki are winning the cavalry fights, which is unusual. We have a Yari cavalry unit that's wavering at full... It broke... Oh my... That is a unit of Yari Cavalry that broke at full strength. Quite devastating, but this unit is going to return. I believe it's not going to make it out of the battlefield before it rallies. Meanwhile, as Naginata Warrior Monks and Yari Ashigaru are fighting on this end, Heli has sent his cavalry in a very ambitious flanking maneuver. This is an attempted surround over here. While on the other side, the Eko Iki are winning. The Eko Iki are beating the Mori on the far side, on the far bank of the river. Rushing down Matchlock Ashigaru, defensive Matchlock Ashigaru. And this is really interesting. If you're paying attention to the minimap, they basically switched sides. So Heli crossed over as the Mori crossed over. To attack the Iko Iki in, a, in an enveloping maneuver in a pincer movement. While one stupid boy has done the reverse to him on the opposite side. The Iko Iki are winning the fight against the Mori on the far bank. While the Mori are overwhelming the Iko on this side. They've been trading blows rather evenly this whole time. But there's one crucial difference. There is there is one crucial difference in how they uh, in how uh, they approached this fight. The Eco Iki general is completely exposed. He is going to be overrun very soon at this rate. One stupid boy fell short in keeping his general alive and keeping his general safe, while Heli made sure to keep his out of harm's way. And definitely at this point, at this point, one stupid boy realizes that and he's rushing his entire force. He's rushing his entire force. He's even rushing his cavalry in. He's rushing his cavalry in head first into Naginata warrior monks. That's, that's not a good, that's not a good fight. That is not a good fight. Oh, Jesus. His general has held for a surprisingly long time. In comes Heli with his own cavalry. This is not looking good, and this general is gonna die soon. And it's a shame because one stupid boy has a lot of strong units on his side. He has he has a bunch of Naginata warrior monks at almost full strength and some lone swords, but it's such a shame that his general died, so he can't really take advantage. He can't really take advantage of his high quality units. They were tri- 
they were trading blows rather evenly that whole match switched sides of the river but it came down to heli successfully keeping his general alive that's why ladies and gentlemen you know you gotta keep your king alive and chess otherwise you just lose the game no matter how well you do otherwise i'll be getting a pop filter tomorrow hopefully to reduce the plosive sounds i know the audio quality is a bit uh, shaky right now and then this room is also quite uh, there's quite a lot of reverb i hope it's coming in fine on your end Naginata Warrior Monks getting close to 300 kills for Heli. That is insane. For a multiplayer, getting close to 300 kills on a single unit is insane, even if it's Naginata Warrior Monks. Whereas one stupid boy had most of his units underperforming, there's only one unit that broke the 100 kill barrier. And then all these high quality units that barely had an effect on the fight. They just didn't have a, they didn't have a chance to really to really flex their muscles with the general dying like that. It's it's such a shame, such a such a shame. And here we are with the second game. Heli this time opting for the Takeda with a very strong core of Yariashigaru. Yariashigaru with six experience, extremely cost effective. And some Nodachi Samurai, no experience at all. I, 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 that's That makes sense. It makes very little sense to put experience on elite units like Nodachi Samurai. Well, elite better quality units like Nodachi Samurai because they're reliant on charge bonus. And charge bonus doesn't even improve with experience. So it's kind of wasted money. Versus one stupid boy again with the Iko Eki with a similar if not completely the same build. Strong melee core, Naginata Warrior Monks, Lone Swords, Iko Yariashigaru, and some skirmishing units. He's getting picked off by Bow Cavalry, and this is one vulnerability that the Iko have. They don't have access to any ranged cavalry, so no, they don't have guns, they don't have, they don't have gun cavalry, they don't have bow cavalry. So against anyone who's using those units, the Iko Eki uh, will, the Iko Eki player will feel pressure to do something. When you have bow cavalry and gun cavalry, but your opponent doesn't, you can just control the pace of the map, the pace of the match so well. Fight on your own terms, and he's still, he's still firing on Naginata warrior monks. Ah, that's not, that's not good. This is this is an ideal target for bow cavalry. Oh, we have some shots going off from Nagi, from matchlock warrior monks, as well as some fire from bows. Going for lightly armored Yari Ashigaru doing decent damage. A fight breaking out. A, a Naginata Warrior Monk duel. Eco Naginata Monks versus regular Naginata Monks. Ah, and I think, I think, I think the time. Oh, yeah, the, the Monk Cavalry got charged while stationary. They barely have any kills, but they lost. Ooh, that's bad. And then more Takeda Cavalry. He's even throwing in his Bow Cavalry. Just everything. Bow Warrior Monks targeting Bow Cavalry. Are we gonna have a bit of a standoff? Or are they gonna rush in? Are we gonna have a battle of fight lines? Yeah, I think, yep. Looks like we are having a pike. This looks like we are having a pike war. But the Takeda are throwing in Nodachis as well with Banzai. While they are also winning the cavalry fight, they just won the cavalry fight on that side. And these Iku Naginata monks are about to break. That's such a shame. And the main line is faltering. And then look at that. Look at that. One stupid boy has all these units that aren't even involved in the fight. That is that is absolutely terrible. And then Heli Heli is taking advantage of that. Heli realizes that one stupid boy is tunnel visioned and he takes he takes advantage of that to win the fight in the center. He concentrated all of his units in the center and on the flank and now they're going for an exposed general. And matchlock monks are getting shredded. They are getting charged. They are getting charged on literally 
every side and they're gonna break soon even though they have 12 morale and now his his remaining units are getting involved but isolated light cavalry too little too late he's trying to form some sort of line but it's not gonna work it doesn't he has elite he has more more warrior monks these are very good units and then lone swords and matchlock monks and the, yeah that's it so yet again we see the importance of keeping your general alive despite having quite a few high quality units and the balance of power is dead even at this point it's gonna come down to one side not having their general anymore let this let this video be a lesson you know like you gotta you gotta keep your your generals alive guys you gotta keep your generals alive all costs at all costs this honor is like a scar on a tree which time instead of effacing only helps to enlarge why thank you game thank you for acknowledging me i really love it yeah these numbers i think i think i think these numbers are gonna tell a story if you look at heli's units all of his all of his units have like they have roughly they have like well balanced kill counts every unit contributed to the fight whereas one stupid boy has a bunch that is what one two three four five six seven eight eight units that that have under 30 kills each that is such a shame he could have put up such a good fight if he was just 10 seconds or 15 seconds earlier committed his units committed all of his units to the fight thank you so much for watching guys and thank you so much to the participants in these matches for some some good shogun 2 gameplay you can hop on into discord again if you want to join in on all of the rts fun sub to this channel so you don't miss out on some sweet strategy content i upload stuff for shogun 2 age of empires 4 looking to branch out into other strategy games in the coming weeks and you can also check out the dishonorable merch store get your own dishonorable merch showcase your membership in the dishonorable clan you got caps hoodies beanies and we're just gonna add more as time goes on and if you're interested in seeing some exclusive videos you can subscribe to my patreon links to everything on the description below thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you next time bye bye